some more? <laughs> Well, that's not creepy at all. Hello there everyone and welcome to the seventh guest played by your old friends at Monday Madness. I am your host for this evening Jonathan and we are coming back to this game after a brief hiatus. Uh, this game is brought to us by Trilobite Studios. Um, this is one of their very few games that they played or created rather. I'm playing it today. Silly me. Um, now, when we left off this game, we had solved some of the puzzles in this very creepy mansion, courtesy of Henry Stauff. Um, we solved the telescope puzzle, which is the first of the game, uh, followed then by the very good cake puzzle, where we um, have to share everything amongst all of our guests. And then we had the chess queen puzzle, I guess you can say. Um, that took far longer than I was hoping um, it would take, but there we go. Uh, now, when we last left off then, oh yes, and the rose petal puzzle as well, um, your, the sky is bloody, your fate is ruddy, or, no, that's the other way around, uh, the sky is ruddy, your fate is bloody. So, uh, when we last left off, we had two puzzles that we had yet to solve, uh, we left one in the pantry that we have yet to do, and then we left one in this room here. Now, I'm going to leave this one for the moment. Um, because I have a sneaking suspicion I know how to solve the next, or the pantry puzzle. So let's do that first. If I can get out of this goddamn room. I was trying to, I was hoping I'd get through the room while I was talking, but no luck. Um, it's the worst thing about these games from the FMV era is that every motion is slow and clumsy. Oh, hello. Have you got something here? Moving swiftly on. Um, let's get out of here. <laughs> um, right, I don't even know what to say about that, really. I mean, creepy music. Um, woman trapped in a mirror. Just sounds like another normal Saturday night, doesn't it? Uh, let's move on, then. So let's go back to the pantry if I can find my way down here. Uh, now, there's a few things about this game that we probably didn't mention in the Let's Play. In the start menu, there is a map. Um, of the whole premises, so I'm going to take advantage of that um, if my memory fails me. And the second thing about the book is we, there was a bit of confusion about what the book is used for. Um, the book that we were using in the library is indeed the one we were referring to at the start of the Let's Play, the one that's supposed to give you all the clues. It basically steers you in the direction of the next puzzle. Um, and the idea is that once you have basically stumbled upon the puzzle, it kind of defaults to it. it it's a really weird system. But I suppose, I suppose it sounded like a good idea at the time. Although, then again, everything about FMV sounded like a good idea at the time. So, um, but here we are. So, now I'm not one to know... I don't know much of the details about this um, game itself, uh, plot-wise. But we are slowly unravelling things. Um, it does seem like one of the guests, as it were, the ghost, is a succubus. Um, going by how she's... Um, wooed Mr. Knox, who's the, the big ball guy that we saw at the start. This is the wrong room anyway. I'm getting lost again. That's the kitchen. Dining room, rather. I'm sure I'll find my way around. Here we go. I think this is the pantry. Yeah, that's the big um, wooden pot, bowl, whatever it is. I'm not much on interior design, I'm afraid. And here we are. Marvellous. So this is where we want to be. Now, I was led to believe that there is um, some sort of like clue of substitution to this, but um, you can brute force your way if you just have a good ex uh, knowledge of words. So we have a lot of whys, um, and it, what it seems to be, going by what I remember, uh, this is going to be a three letter word here, five letter, five letter, six letter, five, two, two, and five. So it's supposed to form a sentence, essentially. And then that'll serve as a clue then for another puzzle that's in the building. So I think the way you're supposed to do this is essentially try and construct words using the letters you see in front of you. Which is an interesting way of doing things, I guess. But um, there are a lot of whys. So uh, almost like an unnatural number of whys in a way. So that's supposed to be your clue of um, making up some words. So if we're using, if I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go by an idea that every word in this puzzle contains at least one Y. So I guess the best way of doing this would be to get rid of these small guys here. 
and at least you make some sort of progress in this puzzle. So, let me think now. Just going by the alphabet. There's by and my. Oh, that could work actually. B, and swap it with that R over there. And if I. There's more of these cans than meets the eye. Uh, thanks for that. Uh, that's my main character, by the way, that's uh, talking. I don't know his name, but we're just gonna. I don't know who he is, basically. Going by the last video, he's apparently has an exposed brain, skeletal hand, and uh, one very excited eyeball. <laughs> so I don't know how that works. Okay, so we have by my. Hmm. A lot of T's as well. So. Uh. You see, I was thinking that the first word would start with V, but there's no E's. But maybe it could still work. If I put T up the top here. I don't think you can do this. Uh, thanks for that. I, I love all the advice I'm getting in this. Um, okay, so thy. Is there any words that can I can put in? Still a lot of wise. I've got I've got P and R and a C and a Y. Crypt? Crypt. I'll try a crypt. Where will it go though? Can I go up here? Buy my, oh, buy my crypt! Okay. This is probably a backwards way of solving the puzzle, but uh, who cares? We're going on an adventure. So that frees up a lot of S's, I see. Which is good. Okay. So now we have buy my crypt. And uh, now. What else did that leave? Hmm. This is where it gets confusing now because you're trying to find more words out of the letters you see in front of you. So I'm still going by the principle that one word will have to contain one or two Y's because there's a lot of Y's on this puzzle. So, and there's a lot of L's now as well. Hmm. I'm trying to think of how many words I can put in now. I guess... Hmm. How many letters do we have? We have a G, four S's, three L's, um, two P's, one T, one, two R's, and seven Y's. Okay, so the Y's have to be co covered out in one word. So if it's not one Y, maybe it's two Y's. Like Gypsy. Gypsy. Gypsy, Gypsy. Okay. Um... Now the thing is, which word would I work with? Thy something gypsy or thy gypsy something? I'm gonna go with the first one, just for the moment. I can, I'm sure I can switch it around afterwards. Okay. Okay, so the gypsy. Now, what does that leave us then? We have, again, a lot of S's. And two R's and L's. So L's have to be in either one... Uh, in one word or a few words. I can't see how one word will have three L's anyway. Going by what I have here. Um, hmm. You see, if, the, if I had E's here... I could have said slept because I have an S and L, P and T. Maybe I'll just try that. If I try that it just for the moment, like maybe Y's could be just like a general vel kind of uh, letter. No, but see, that doesn't look right either. And still. Any other so no I'm sure I was thinking sound step soundly, but that doesn't work with no D's. Hmm. Rests 
rest this could be a word as well. Okay, so I've got definitely some words here. Gypsy, crypt, and thy. By my, they look okay. It's the other words I can't figure out at the moment. I'm trying to form a sentence here, but maybe it looks like gypsy's out of sequence? Maybe? It's hard to say. So I got S and R. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to rack my brain now. Of any letters that contain S R L with no vowels, but there none of them are coming to mind. Should have brought a dictionary with me when I started this LP. Okay, I think I'll follow. Um, I won't have to start again. Yeah. Okay, so we're nearly halfway solved that, I guess. Um, Maybe we'll go back to the uh, library and hopefully that book might uh, give us a hint. If I can get there in the end. I can get, can't go through there. Sorry sorry for the accidental British accent there. That sometimes happens. <laughs> so it definitely seems like the, like the wise are throwing me off, which is obviously the idea of the puzzle. You're supposed to try and... Um, get words that will work with I Y first, but there's so many of them is the problem. This is a tricky wicket, all right. So now we um, clumsily walk around this uh, massive mansion. I don't know why anyone would go here at any time because it's, uh, it doesn't look welcoming and there's people trapped in mirrors and evil clowns with red balloons. And this place is locked, which is nice. This is the library then, is it? Yeah, no, by all means, yeah. Turn, yeah, only cardinal directions for this place, yeah. Lovely. Imagine, imagine being able to have to walk around like this in real life. You'd never get anywhere fast. Okay, here we go with the library, with the best upholstered chairs I've ever seen. Now, what does the book tell us? Bashful Nomad. Craftily, agedly, meet secretly near my underground vault. Okay, so this is a clue, right? So bashful nomad, shy gypsy, shy gypsy, slyly, slyly, meet secretly near my underground vault. Okay, so now we're getting somewhere. It is, I was, I was wrong with the, the vowels thing. It is definitely just making as many words as you can using the letter Y. So, if I'm going by this theory, um, I've got a shy gypsy, slyly, um, agely. I don't know, I'm not sure about that one, but, um, so I've got shy gypsy, uh, slyly, Hopefully this will work now. That slightly actually works perfectly because that takes up two of the L's that's there. Um, I'll figure out that agedly one when I get there and then meet secretly near my underground vault. So that's by my crypt. So that was the right part. Okay. All right, let's 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 figure this out. So I've got, I think I've got six of these words now and I'm hoping that the, um, the other two will make themselves apparent. Well, my clue is agedly and secretly. Here we go again. So it was um, the thing that was actually seemed like it was throwing me off was the uh, thy at the top. So I've got shy. Okay, so shy. That would explain why Henry Staff started like sarcastically remarking at the when I said thy there. So shy gypsy. So let's now put in slyly up the top here. Now that the words make themselves more apparent, we'll see now. 
slowly. So that free that should no. Hang on, I, I won't. I'll, I'll wait until I um put in the rest of the letters. There's more of these cans. Than these I'm well aware of that. Thank you. Um, so bye. Excuse me. By my crypt. Uh huh. Nope, sorry, that's the wrong one. I'm looking for R there. No, I've, I've spelled crypt, that's why. Silly me. I was wondering, because I was looking at that and going, that doesn't sound right. Syrupt? Serpt? Sure, let's go with that. There we go. Okay. So, what letters do we have left now? We have... Three Ys, one L, two S's, two T's, one P and two R's. So So we have Agely and uh, I guess something like sneakily or stealthily. We already have slightly up there. So what could I possibly have here? Right. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go sneak back and look at the book again because I can't remember the two words. solved good sir <laughs> okay why did you bring me here the, the puzzle is not solved uh, bloody hell right right well I had an idea right um, that I was going to go into back to the book and try and remember what the second um, word was that I was trying to remember. And then it suddenly tells me that the puzzle is solved. <laughs> Which is um, interesting, because I'm almost certain it is not solved whatsoever. Um, so yeah, that was surprising. Either way, the pantry is closed, so I guess 60% of the puzzle being solved is good enough for this game. So, <laughs> thanks for that. Shy Gypsy... Oh, hello. This door is open now. Oh, hello. Oh, dear. This looks like a puzzle. 